Hey everybody, my name is Casey and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be designing a villager's yard. It's going to be this one in the background here. So it's like a little sunken villager yard area. So it will lead over to my campsite. Um, but I did a poll in my community section and this was one of the builds that you guys wanted to see the most of. I just asked what type of builds you would like to see and gave a couple options. So I'm more than happy to make this build for you all. So I'm going to just start out designing and then I will stop in throughout the video and let you know what I'm working on. So since this island is like forest core slash kind of like cottage core themed, I'm making a bunch of these like little farms in different areas throughout my island. And so I'm just going to use the wheat item and then the potato plant to put on this little farm area for Silvana. I don't think I mentioned that, but that is Silvana's house in the back there. And then I'm just going to use a couple items to, I guess, accent this little farm area. So this barbed wire fencing, and then I'm going to use a little wooden stool with a watering can on it. So I think when you add items like this to certain areas it can help bring the area to life a bit more and so I'm gonna just continue working on this little area and planting some bushes and adding some other items but real quick I just wanted to ask if you all are watching this video and you are not subscribed to my channel I would really really appreciate it if you could subscribe it really really helps support my channel and helps to get my videos out to more people on YouTube. I also will make a community post about this eventually, but if you're watching now, I just wanted to let you all know that I do plan on streaming very soon. I am moving at the end of this month, and so I will be able to begin streaming once I get all moved in and unpacked and whatnot. Um, but I also just wanted to say I'm unsure if I will have a video for next week just because I have a lot of stuff to do and you guys moving stresses me out. I don't think anybody likes moving, but it's just a lot. Um, but I'm really, really excited to move and kind of get into like a new environment and start that like next chapter of my life. So I'm really excited for that. But just wanted to give you all a heads up of kind of like what my future plans are for the next couple weeks at least. And like I said, I will make an official post about this in my community tab to kind of keep you all up to date on the status of that. But anyways, jumping back into the build for this area right here, I wanted to make a little picnic area right next to Silvana's house. So I'm going to just lay down this really pretty blanket code and then I will start arranging the items on the blanket for this smaller picnic area right here. So for this island, the color palette that I am using is kind of like a blend of like greens, blues, and whites. Um, you will see a little bit further into this build how I'm incorporating some purple as well. When I started this island, I had just finished my last island, Daisy, and I thought that I wanted to do like a colorful island because on my last island, I just used white cosmos. But then as I was thinking about it, I've done 
a bunch of islands that have had like a bunch of color on it. So I really wanted to try and stick with this like forest core theme. It's been a little bit challenging, especially when I'm having to work with kind of like the same color. So that's why I'm trying to incorporate like, as you can see up there on that little mini land bridge, the purple hyacinth. So I think maybe in a couple areas or at least villager yards, I'm gonna try and incorporate a little bit of color, but I'm gonna leave it so it's just like in that one area right there. But anyways, right here, I'm just trying to figure out the spacing for the stunted trees that I plan on using for this area. That's another item that I'm using quite a lot of on this island is stunted trees. I definitely recommend using them if you have a little space on a build that you need to fill in. Stunted trees are incredible for that. And if you don't know how to stunt them, whatever length or stage that the tree is at, just plant a little fruit sapling behind it and it will stay at that height forever. But I'm gonna just continue filling in the rest of of this area right here. And so right here, I'm just trying to add in a little bit more of like a realistic touch, like I was saying earlier with using that crate item and then the potted like starter plants on top of it. Just like reminds me of something you'd see in an actual like little farm or garden area. And then also the wheat field item is incredible for filling little empty spaces and breaking up like flowers in particular. So I definitely recommend using that if you have a little bit of space you need to fill up. And then for this area over here, I decided I'm gonna make like another little farm just to kind of fill in this space. This one is just gonna be two by two and then I'm gonna just stick with the um, sugar cane item. I think that's what it's called. It kind of reminds me, I don't know if any of you have played Stardew Valley, but the on Ginger Island, the like taro root item or whatever it's called, I think that it grows by water or at least that's how I'm remembering it, but that's what this um, sugar cane item reminds me of. And since there's a little river in the background there, I just decided to put it here. And then again, I'm just adding in some different items and flowers to try and give it more of a realistic feel.
And then this is the last little area I pretty much just have left to fill up on this build. So just this empty space right here. So I'm gonna try using the garden wagon item. I'm not sure that I love the placement of it. So I like to kind of move around the garden wagon a bit when I am decorating with it. And then just these empty little spaces right here. Um, I'm gonna just probably try and put in some different size trees again. As you can see over here, I'm using a cedar tree just to add in a little bit of variety. And then I'm gonna move this hardwood tree right here and then try and stunt that. Um, I'm actually gonna move it a little bit closer to the farm area. I just feel like it looks a little bit more balanced this way. And then for this little area right here that I have to fill in, I'm gonna just use a little filler code and then plant another weed as well. And then that is everything for this build. So I'm gonna go ahead and close up the Island Designer app and then I will take you all on the final walkthrough. All right, so here we are. This is the final walkthrough for this area. So as you can see, I have this little farm area and then I also have the purple hyacinth spread a little bit throughout Sylvana's yard just to add a little bit of color and variety to this build. And then this is the little seating area I did for Sylvana. And then I just kind of broke up the pathing with using flowers and weeds and stunted trees. And then over here is the little sugarcane farm. And as you can see, I have the wheat field item in the background. I just, I'm obsessed with that item. But anyways, that is the completed sunken villager yard. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you could please subscribe to my channel as it really, really helps me out. I looked at my analytics and it says about only half of the people who watch my channel are subscribed to it. So subscribing completely free, it really, really helps support me and it would mean a lot if you enjoy my content, if you would subscribe to it. But other than that, I wanted to thank you all so much for watching this video and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.